YouTube, Alex here again from Mojave Repeater. Now, in our last video, we defined the different tiers of radio users from the entry level through the professional. For entry level two-way radio comms, we have a number of unlicensed frequencies available to us, such as the MERS and FRS band. These are called FCC Part 95 frequencies. What you might find in these two bands, though, is that the power levels are limited to relatively low power output. If you're a smart radio user, you might be asking yourself, how can I legally gain access to frequencies with a higher power output? Because I want to push my comms out much farther and wider than what a small handheld radio on MERS or FRS can provide for me. So within part 95 is the General Mobile Radio Service, or GMRS. It gives you access to 22 frequencies with the ability to build and use duplex repeaters and some channels with a power output of up to 50 watts, all for a small fee to the FCC and no testing requirement whatsoever. The best part is that this license is good for 10 years, so even if you don't plan to use it right now, it's a great thing to have in your back pocket in case you ever need it. So today we're going to go over how to apply for your GMRS license. It's a relatively simple process, but I know it can be intimidating and confusing for somebody who it's their first time uh, approaching something like this, and you may not know where to start. You can follow along with me on the screen as I walk you through the steps of exactly how to apply. First, you're going to want to open your web browser and pull up google.com. In the search bar, type in FCC ULS. Go ahead and click on the first link that shows up. I'm going to drop this link below in the video description in case you need to reference it later on. On this page, there are two items of interest for us. The first is the link to new user registration, and then additionally, the link to file online to apply for a new license. Before we apply for our license, we're going to need to register with the FCC, so click on that link. Here, we need to register to receive our FRN, so click on register. You can register as a business or an individual, but later on when we apply for our license, we must apply for a GMRS license as an individual. So go ahead and select the radio button that applies to you and click continue. On the next page, the FCC is going to ask you for some biographical information about yourself. I'm going to fill this stuff out and then proceed to the next page off screen since I don't want to display that information on the internet. When you've completed the form, go ahead and click submit and on the next page you will see that you have been assigned an FRN by the FCC. Print off or save this page or write down your FRN so that you don't forget it. It's very important that you save this number and we're going to need it a couple of times during the registration process. Now that we have our FRN, let's go back and pull up that FCC ULS page that we searched for earlier. This time, you're going to select File Online and then sign in with your FRN and the password that you just created. Now this license manager gives us access to view our existing licenses and call signs and to apply for a new license. On the left hand side of the page, select apply for a new license. Open up that drop down menu and scroll all the way down until you see ZA General Mobile Radio Service and click next. For these applicant questions, for the most part, we can just select no on all of them and then click next to go on to the next page. Again, the FCC asks for some biographical information about yourself. As I mentioned earlier, you must apply for GMRS as an individual, not as a business, so don't put any business info in this form. Make sure to fill out this form and then click next 
but make sure you put a good email address in here so that the FCC can email you your license. On the basic qualification form, you're just going to select the answer which best applies to you and then go on to the next page. Now the FCC is going to display a summary of the questions answered within the application. So go ahead and click continue to certify and read through this page and type your name at the bottom to provide a signature on your application. and click Submit. Now we've successfully submitted our license application to the FCC. All that's left is to pay the fee and basically wait for the FCC to review and respond to your application. So go ahead and click Continue for Payment Options. And you're going to want to sign in once again with your payer FRN, um, so that FRN that we applied for earlier and the same password. Now, once you do this, you can pay for the license with a credit or debit card or connect your bank. Now, once you've paid, all that's left to do is just wait for the FCC to review and respond to your application. It usually takes them a few weeks to review everything, so just be patient and you'll get an email with your license. All right, so that covers applying for your GMRS license. As always, radio communications are a tool to enable what you do. It's a crucial part of the shoot, move, and communicate equation. So do not neglect comms as it applies to your home defense or survival scenario. Go out there, get training, and make yourself more of an asset for yourself and for your team. We're running training courses all the time, um, all over the country. So check us out online at our website, mojaverepeater.com, or follow us on Instagram to learn more about that. The next course is coming up from April 9th to 10th in Columbus, Georgia with Christopher Rance and CR2 Shooting Solutions at their facility. Please check us out. Go ahead and visit CR2 Shooting Solutions website or mojaverepeater.com and consider getting some good training with us in April. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below to tell me what you liked about it. That feedback is really important for me to determine if I'm gonna make videos. If you found this video useful, go ahead and hit the like button and leave a comment down below to tell us what you liked about it. If you wanna see us make more videos on YouTube, then tell us in the comments what you wanna see in future videos. Until next time, Mojave Repeater out.